Glenn having his TV on his bed and his lap made me so nervous. Like that radiation is probably going to kill you before Freddie does. <laughs> Are you telling me that Johnny Depp is impotent by a black and white TV from 1984? I don't think so. Hey there, I'm Heather Langenkamp. And I'm Robert England. And we are here to read some reviews uh, from Letterbox reviews of our film, A Nightmare on Elm Street, that came out in 1984. So Jesse, um, he says, it's probably a bad idea to home alone your house when your mother is three bottles of vodka deep, an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Actually, this reminds me of when I saw the movie for the first time in Oakland, California, and when Marge pulls out the vodka bottle out of the linen closet, the audience went wild and I yeah. had never heard people actually talk back to the movie screen like that. And I was just thrilled about that. And um, anyway, I have to agree. That vodka was a real problem in Nancy's yeah. life. Nath Axon, five stars, five star review here. Heather Langenkamp <laughs> is straight up my favorite 80s horror star. She combines <laughs> teenage optimism with a wizened thousand yard stare, actual tremulous fear, Steely determination, hardened fatalism, an incipient stress-induced mental collapse, burnout in a totally unique performance. Wow. Wow. Stream wow. of consciousness praise, darling. I love that. You want to keep that one? Yes. You can keep that. Okay. I really like right. that. Okay. Actual tremulous fear is very true because every time Robert had his glove in my face, I was shaking like a leaf. It was terrifying. Well, it was worse when I forgot I had it on and picked my nose. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> This movie literally would have been 30 minutes long if any man was competent and just did the simple task that Nancy <laughs> gave them. Get my dad, you asshole. Yeah. It's like the best line I say in that ending yeah. scene. And if it if he had just gotten my dad when I said so, none of the problems would yeah. have happened. And what about Glenn falling asleep when I'm fighting you? I, I mean, over the and men, over they again. They let you down, but not they, me, they not let Freddy. Me down. Freddy never let me down. Okay, this is from Lola Gumball. Four and one half stars. Bro, Freddy's arms are so fucking long. Where's his medal from the Guinness World Records? <laughs> well, I had a little help with those arms. Those are actually being supported by two grips, smoking a cigarette with fishing poles and monofilament on either side of the alley behind Wes Craven's I, house I, I in Venice, was, California. It was the cheesiest looking effect we did in the entire movie but it looked so great. But being there in the alley with you that night, I thought, oh, this movie's just gonna be oh, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what Sierra, four and a half stars. You know what we're missing in modern horror now? Men in crop tops. Oh, Johnny Depp Never reference. Never forget what they took from you. <laughs> well, I have to sign pictures sometimes at Comic-Cons and I'm not in them. And it's and, it, and and I look up and there's some goth girl, you know, and uh, with, with with a tattoo in her cleavage, and 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 it's Johnny Depp, you know, it's Johnny Depp in bed just before the you know what hits the fan, and and he's crop topped, he's in that he's in that, you know, which everybody used to wear to the gym in the eighties. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, Check that, their abs. Yeah, that scene is most women's favorite scene. Check I mean, men too, men and women together can Every, agree. Everybody's allowed that to like when it. When he says. You know, I say, whatever you do, don't fall asleep. And, and he's like, you're crazier than ever before. <laughs> I wonder if Johnny fought for that top or if that was imposed on him. No, that was order. imposed. I'm okay, sure. yeah, I don't, yeah, that doesn't seem like a Johnny choice. Yeah. There you okay, go. I have one from Camelot. Four stars. Or maybe it's Camelot. <laughs> What I like most about this slasher is simply the amount of childish joy Freddy is having in a time when so many psycho killers were taking themselves way too seriously. It's nice to finally see a homicidal maniac actually having a good time. <laughs> well, that's the crux, Camelot, of Freddy. You know, that, that he enjoys his work. It's dirty work, but he enjoys it. And he's on a revenge motif in all mm -hmm. seriousness. And reven part of revenge is believing that, that it's enjoyable. All right, so we have one by Tony the Terror. Five stars. Five stars. This is such an original take on the slasher game, and even though it was copied a hundred times over, it never was duplicated. I can't even imagine the thrill of being in the audience during the original screening 
and taking in this entirely unique approach to what was already becoming a tired genre. Well, I saw it with an audience the first time down at uh, SC, the University of Southern California, and it was in the late afternoon, and it was the football team and their girlfriends, but the girls had already seen it. And they were setting the guys up. And these guys, you couldn't even see around these guys. They're so big. You know, I was up in the back of the theater to watch it because it was a brand new, beautiful cinema uh, that had just been built there. And it was projected perfectly. And the guys jumped out of their seat. You know, they literally jumped out of their seat. So that's as close as I can relate to a kind of really early, before everybody had heard about it, you know, live screening of the film. And, yeah. but the, you know, it was that thing, the girls were laughing so hard at their boyfriends jumping out of their seats because they knew where all the scares came and they would set them up sometimes, you know, don't you, scratch them Don't you bit. feel like we never got to experience it because we knew it was going to happen. We saw it being filmed. We saw the dailies for all those days. But you can never but, watch. But, we, uh, an but actor you never can, never. can, you can never feel it like those kids felt we it in the movie We can never watch theater. a movie that we're I'm, in the same, as, as uh, like, I'm like that. Very because jealous. you're look, I'm, I'm looking at my bald spot. I know. I, I'm looking at, I'm looking at that zit that I had that I'm looking day. at my frizzy hair. Yeah, I know. It was, yeah. we never got to experience it like those first kids it, did in 1984. Maybe, maybe you were saying earlier, maybe sometimes when we see the dailies, when we see the rushes, that's a thrill. That was the Because it's like you shot it yesterday. It's it's instant gratification. You get to see it today, even if it's on a motel room sheet yeah. and you're on mm -hmm. location. And there's something about that for us actors that's really fun. That's one of the pleasures we get from seeing ourselves. Even with video assists now, I'm not as excited because mm -hmm. it's so little. Marmar, three and a half stars, says, I wouldn't last 10 minutes in this franchise. Sleeping is literally one of my hobbies. <laughs> Well, Marmar, uh, that's that good for you. Uh, hope it's not sleep apnea. You know, hope you're healthy, wealthy, and wise. But uh, he's going to live yeah. a lot longer than any of us. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, thank you, Marmar, and take a nap. Oh, I'll be visiting you. So Taylor Hyder says five stars. Nancy is hands down my favorite heroine of the bigger slashers of this era. She's smart, tough, but vulnerable enough to be relatable. Oh, yeah. As I get older, I, ident I identify with so much more in her character. Her strained familial relationships, her determination to be heard and believed. Uh, I mean, that's the teenager problem for uh, that everyone has felt. In but their it's life. also yeah. because that's so universal, and especially in the 80s, with the beginning of the demise of the American family. You know, divorce was rates were increasing, yeah. alcoholism, people were taking too many pills. That <laughs> that no, but but that that Heather. Yeah people could relate to Nancy and follow her and empathize with her and take the journey of survival with her because she wasn't this perfect girl. You know, right. she wasn't a rookie right. in the police department, you know, right. that could do Kung Fu. <laughs> Mary, five stars. Most nights I sleep well, but sometimes when I'm lying peacefully in my bed, ready to sleep, I hear the quiet, tapping of fingernails and that creepy song too coming for you and as soon as i close my eyes the whole face of this mf appears 4k ultra hd with his unbrushed teeth and he grabs me by the hand and he takes me to elm street then i remember oh god it's just robert england and life is silly again. Oh, Mary. Mary. Excellent. Yes. And you got in our uh, our 4K Ultra okay. HD, which we're, Heather and I, we're not going to BS you. We're really anxious to see. You know, I was, I've been telling people today that I, I, I accidentally, for my family, downloaded a, 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 a streamer HD. of, of Rear, Rear Window. Window by Alfred Hitchcock a couple of weekends ago. And it was miraculous. And I'd seen it in the original movie theater, too. And I can't wait to see this one because I want to convey this to the fans out there. So many of you were introduced to Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, on a, on a dingy, VHS you know, bleached tape. out VHS tape or with peanut butter and on, jelly on, on it, unrewound. Cable. So, yeah, or, or, yeah, or cut up with too many commercials on cable on a okay, movie I've got to read this one, marathon. Robert. What one are you on? I'm oh. on Willow Macklay's okay. Four and a Half Stars. The image of the hand in the bathtub between Nancy's legs begging to pull her under is both a violation and a tension on a physical, particularly female level. It's the strongest image in the movie and one that never leaves me even after viewing 
this movie. And yes, this is my favorite scene of the entire movie for my character. And Heather's made peace with this. It wasn't always this way. I think, Heather's, you've come to realize it, it was, how iconic that is. Yes, because I've seen the movie so many times now. So every time I see this scene, I still... It, I still am waiting for the hand to come up, and I get scared every time. It's so but, good. But originally, you were a little embarrassed because well, I was embarrassed. It, well, no, it's it, it's highly sexual, and it was exploited a bit in posters and yeah. images. But now you realize it was most of the reason it was exploited is because it's just an amazing image. You could say the same of Janet Lee in the shower. Yeah. And 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 you can say oh, it's sexual, it's this, it's that. But in fact, it is an iconic moment. You yeah. know, I've got Ian Curran. Three stars. A Nightmare on Elm Street has some of the most striking and iconic images the horror genre has ever produced. Freddy coming out of the wall, which was, by the way, cost us a buck ninety-five. <laughs> that was cheesecloth and me just. No, no, it. it was spandex. Spandex. It was spandex. Okay, spandex. Yeah. The murder on the ceiling. Okay, that cost some money. That was the revolving set. The girl in the body bag. Amanda Wiss. Two dollars. Yeah, two dollars on that fake rubber <laughs> caterpillar. The hand in the bath. Oh, now that was that was a. We just whole talked day. about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Heather uh, was literally waterlogged at the end. She had her little wrinkled fingers, I yeah. think. And Johnny Depp being swallowed up by the bed, which we borrowed that way to shoot that using gravity for us, for our own our own benefits. That was really upside down. And that's that from The Shining. Yeah, it's that when they did The Shining with the elevators that bled and the blood rushed out. It was the same. It was actually the elevator was upside down. Johnny Depp's bed was upside down and the camera was upside down shooting it. So it looks like it's old faithful, but in fact, it's just running running out. Well, I think that's it. We got I think them all. these are all great reviews. And Woo! actually, you guys, they're pretty funny too. <laughs> so thank you.